or their Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash pinballjoe. You better do that. Every time you start a he's coming. It's not happening, I'm sorry. Hey, it's Mike Tyson. Now, I do believe this is the first time that Punch Out for the Wii is being yeah, uh, featured no at a problem. marathon, correct? All right, just for uh, a bit of explanation. So, the run that I'm going to be doing is going to be in exhibition mode. And that's because uh, if I did it in career mode, what would happen is uh, there would be a lot of unskippable cutscenes and it would have to load everything twice. So, for real time, we're going with exhibition fights, which is basically like time trial. So. I'll be going through all the fights in order, and because the incentive where uh, Donkey Kong was met, I'll be fighting him at the end. Nice. So, now for a typical speed run, single segment speed run of this game, I believe you'd usually do story mode, right? What's that? Uh, for a typical speed, a single segment speed run of this game would typically be story mode anyway, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, so, um, all right. So I'm gonna let this load for a bit. Um. So yeah. I'll let you know when to start the timer. All right, three, two, one, go. Thank you. He's done. Punch the croissants right out of his face. I mean, as a reminder, we do have a French restream. Twitch.tv slash official underscore JVCom. And uh, if we could please get a roll call on the couch. Uh, couch roll call, please. Roll call. Okay, so I am Zellard One. Um, that is Sinister one. He has no mic, but that is Sinister. Uh, I'm Miles. DK28. Oh. Uh, so the strat he's about to use was actually found very recently. Yes, McHazard just found the strat like a week ago. Like, the world record used to be like, Sub 20. That was looking close. So the old world record was 2049. It was like an 11 person tie on uh, CyberScore. But, uh, so that was easily a sub 20. On that note, shout out to our German restream, restream twitch.tv slash Germensch. <laughs> Truly an international event. <laughs> It'll be a little bit until you can uh, plug the Spanish stream. Yeah. Since uh, Don is in the next circuit. All right. So that's an instant knockdown if he like reels to the right, and you delay your uh, triple star One, punch. Two. Three, it's uh, pretty four, useful. It happens five, in both this and the refight of this guy. He does a taunt there. So if you happen to have a star from uh, successfully countering him, then uh, you can one, use it right there. Two, three, four, the five, counters are actually pretty six, uh, on, uh, difficult to do. Right. Here it comes. Ow. Here it comes. Alright, that was a great fight. Yeah, um, this game has animations for when you uh, beat everyone. <laughs> Alright, so next, one, next up we got King Hippo. Um, He's not so bad in this one. I mean, there are there are some difficulties with this fight, but uh, they're not random related, so that's kind of a plus. So beast in this one. <laughs> it's 
gotta make sure that crown's on. You can. It's, uh, I forget where I learned that, but that's technically like a knockdown for some reason, but he gets up from it. So, uh, what I did there when I missed the first one, I moved cancel to the next one. I know when he's gonna do the next one. So, if you throw a punch, you skip what he's about to do. So, gets me to the part of the pattern I need to be at. Thank you. Burdicus for the $25 donation. Much love to punch out block runners. And they changed this dude's name for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. I mean, like, in Street Fighter 4, you got uh, E-Honda still, but I guess they wanted to play it safe. So, I actually did take that hit intentionally. The two important parts of that fight are to get the star and to get him to bow, and that's, that happens to be one of the fastest Three, routes there. Four, five, six, come on, come on. Alright. So whenever, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna call him Honda, I mean, that's really what he is. Um, whenever you get to phase three, he automatically does uh, his, uh, his Honda rush. And we got it. So the next fight is going to be pretty difficult. Um, it's a bear hugger. And uh, the deal with him is every attack that he does has a very small frame window to where if a star punch intercepts him, then it's an instant knockdown. But uh, it's pretty difficult to do it. But, <clears throat> but I'll give it a shot. Yeah, every attack of his can be uh, countered uh, to get a star, and then uh, they can all be star punched to get an instant knockdown. Yeah. Um, that was close. I got the second one. That's the hardest one yeah. by far. Got a little buffer strat for that. Okay, what he did there was a buffer one, strat uh, two, where three, uh, you can just. Four, uh, five, six, you'd probably be able to explain it. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll we'll get to it. Alright, nice. So, I only missed one out of the four attempts. That's pretty good. Um, so buffer strat, basically what I'm doing is I can hold a button before uh, an action comes out, like a dodge or a punch. And uh, the thing is I can do that to set up a few things. Like in Mike Tyson's punch out, like that star that Sinister got on Dawn 1, that's a buffer strat too. You can actually do them in all the punch out games. Delay. 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 Punch the face. Delay. Thank you very much, Mark Bryan, for the $20 donation. I've been enjoying catching up on the speedily uploaded VODs to YouTube. Thanks. Oh. 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 
All right. That's really good. Um, things can go pretty bad in this fight. This is one of the most difficult fights. Uh, especially in the first loop. I got a little bit of bad luck, but I uh, fixed it. One, two, who's to go? Three, four, come on, come on. That was an excellent fight. That was, yeah. yeah. So that strat, I actually found that like uh, last night. <laughs> there was a way more difficult strat that I was going to do, but then I realized, hey, I could just do one of the older strats. Um, I had to adjust it a bit to where the punch manipulation is correct. Basically, the number of punches you throw in that fight determines what attacks he does. So if you make one very minor mistake, then things go very bad. So Don Flamenco. Um, deal with this guy is... Uh, it's possible to KO him if I uh, don't get hit. If not, then I'm going to have to TKO him. So. It's pretty difficult to do uh, this strat correctly. I'm just gonna make sure those stars, those stars need to knock them down. So I drop the loop a little bit. It's very difficult to keep that up. Um, to where the timer is at a proper pace. All right, he's done. And shout outs to our Spanish restream, twitch.tv slash the Mexican runner. I was waiting for <laughs> And as a quick aside, uh, German restream is, is uh, actually twitch.tv slash German restream, all one word. So the next fight is Aaron Ryan. Uh, from Super Punch Out, you might remember. Um, this is the first fight that, um, well, I mean, King Hippo's kind of the, one of the first fights that teach you, teaches you how to counter, but this guy uh, really wants to make sure that you know how to counter things because he's not even in the center of the ring for most of the fight. That last one. Yeah, so in this fight, if you just dodge his attacks and try to counterattack back afterwards, uh, you can't stun him, and then nope. you can only get one punch at a time. Uh, so you uh, need to counter his attacks to get the stun. So he does some uh, cheaty, uh, not boxing things. <laughs> yeah, um, like headbutts. So if you block the headbutt correctly, then uh, he's stunned. And if you happen to have uh, a triple star punch handy, then uh, that knocks him out. So the next fight is going to be a soda pop. Um, it's, this is going to be a pretty interesting looking fight. I'm actually going to be taking several knockdowns in this fight. Um, Valor's just making excuses for how bad he is at this game right now. If you want to go with that, sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah. There is, uh, it, it's similar to Sandman in the, uh, in Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Okay. I needed to take that first hit because when he gets up, he's going to throw uh, four uppercuts. And that's going to knock me down. When I get up, I'm going to get a star. Well, I'm going to try to get a star. But. Alright. 
And you may have noticed, like, I'm getting these knockdowns rather easily. That's because uh, if you do a, a, a hook and then a jab, then uh, you get... Uh, he's, like, super vulnerable to a star punch right after that. It's kind of an interesting throwback to, like, Mike Tyson's punch out. Because there's a similar type of strat going on there with uh, old Soda's knockdown. It's a really good fight. Thank you, Clint Weigel, for the $100 donation. Good afternoon, AGDQ. Let's see what the blindfolded Yoshi's Island players will not. Yoshi's Island hype. Again, we really need donations for that Yoshi's Island blindfold incentive, so get it in, people. So, uh, here we are, Paul Bull. So, he's not very happy about, uh, Will Mac trying to fight him. Clearly. charge that's a really difficult to hit uh, attack that if he managed to hold on a second I have something <laughs> so the camera's really good in this game <laughs> Enabled the uh, Street Fighter mode. I had to show that off. <laughs> okay, I've never seen that before. <laughs> yeah. Interesting little uh, camera glitch in this game. Thank you very much, Big Z, for the $50 donation. Go Blind Yoshi. Thank you, Ray Crooks, for the $10 donation. Thanks to Mike Tyson's punch-out run, my kids were able to learn that Mike Tyson is more than a guy in a blue jumpsuit who solves mysteries. HDQ is, edu is educating as well as entertaining, also donating to save the animals because Mike Tyson would want it that way, at least for the pigeons. Super Macho Man's a great character in this game. I love the way they approach this. The game knew exactly what it wanted to be, like... Star punches in this game have a really interesting mechanic where uh, there's like a ducking element to it. So I'm gonna use that very shortly. So 
you can duck the third spin for a, uh, a star punch. And it happens to be an instant knockdown. Pretty handy stuff. I don't know about that. Thank you very much, Great. Go Go Gadget 99 for the twenty dollar donation. How in the heck is the Yoshi's Island blindfolded, to uh, blindfolded total not met yet? Here's another twenty to get it there. Loving the punch out block. One of my faves as a kid. Happy running. So for this fight, I'm. I really shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna do one of the riskiest strats possible <laughs> that McHazard found. Um, things could go south, but I really, I gotta try it. Like. To change up a bit. Okay, didn't go quite as planned, but I have some stars that I could One, use to my advantage here. Two, three. Come on, come on. Alright, this timer is going to be kind of interesting. I'm going to have to take a guess. One, two, I do have a star, so three, that is a bit helpful. No, nope, didn't work. I got the infinite on I mean, hey. He's a pretty tough fight. Big Hazard's uh, scratch. Basically what it is supposed to do is it manipulates his pattern uh, later on. But hey, we're, uh, we're, we're through the first loop. So that's the halfway mark of the game. Now we get to refight everyone, but everyone's significantly different and difficult. Thank you very much, Anonymous. Last just got some head here. Yes, thank you very much, Anonymous, for the $50 donation. Frames don't have feelings, animals do. Save those animals. Last show is a challenge, except when you know how to do the loop. One, two, For some reason, they three, decided every time you use a star, you can get a star. ideal fight. Right. Thank you very much, Suji Kaji, for the $20 donation. I'm not quite sure where I'm supposed to fit in time for sleep with the great games coming up for the rest of the marathon. I'm putting this towards blindfolded Yoshi's Island levels, and it better get met since I'm sure it will be nothing short of mind-blowing. Yes, again, I want to emphasize that you guys really should donate for the blindfolded Yoshi's Island levels. As we do not have that much time until then. The true champion, Von Kaiser. Yep. So what he means by that is, uh, in the single segment run that I did with uh, career mode, 
uh, it's manipulated to lose the championship to Von Kaiser, which is, uh, I'll explain that later. Make sure I do this right. Alright, cool. So I had to do that delayed star punch at the start, um, to make sure that he moves faster later on in the fight. And you can also kind of loop him into getting uh, extra stars. You need three stars to knock him down when you stun him, as opposed to one in like Mike Tyson's punch out or uh, the first fight of this. Missed one star, but that was a nice back one. Those are actually really hard to do. Like, those delayed punches, there's a very specific timing to them. Still got that sub minute. Thank you very much, Jimmy W, for your $25 donation. Yoshi's Island hype! Hype! So far, I'm glad the motion control thing's going all right. Yeah. <laughs> I've had some uh, practice sessions with some uh, interesting results with the uh, menu selection. Sometimes the sometimes I'll point it at the screen and it'll just like be gone, like yeah. no matter where I point it. Yeah, all the menus in this game are uh, pointer controls only for yeah. who knows what reason. I don't know why they went with that. That's. I wish they would have uh, gone some other direction. So I actually got some bad luck in that fight. Um, he could have uh, attacked in uh, the direction I was punching in that like mess that I was doing at the end, but uh, so he did a speed thing. And then we got the refight of King Hippo. King Hippo, I guess, uh, tried to wise up and uh, is now protecting his weak spot with a uh, New York City manhole cover. Because I guess that's that's okay in boxing. <laughs> well, I mean, the World Video Boxing Association does have some very interesting rules, such as allowing headgear if you lose a hundred times. Cool thing, that manhole cover actually did damage to him. That's an instant KO if you dodge that. He does that like weird burp noise at the end. If that star hits him as that's going off, then he's done. Yeah, that shows he's serious. Thank you, Ted Knoll, for the $50 donation. Go Yoshi! <laughs> So these uh, these final fights, uh, th this fight onward, are uh, really difficult. It's very easy to uh, miss any single little thing, and then things can go haywire. But let's see how it goes. Right.
That was it's, get, it's getting dangerously close to the min, uh, the two minute mark on the timer. So I had to make sure that uh, he went down there. Yeah, the stars in this fight are really hard to get because you have to delay uh, the punch a lot. That's right, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure if he's going to do the attack that he's supposed to, but I guess we'll find out. Alright, good. Yeah, so that punch right there is a one frame window. <laughs> yes, but uh, thankfully Miles found the buffer strat. Uh, for me to ensure that it, it works. How that uh, punch works is it's a four frame window to counter that uh, that charge. The first three frames are a star and the final one is a knockdown. So. Thank you Trip for the $25 donation. How have we not met blindfolded at Yoshi's Island? Come on folks, we each chip in, we can meet it. Thank you Onyx Dragon Lady for the $5 donation. Had to donate again now that my sister in law has been declared cancer free for the second time. Let's see that blindfold for Yoshi's Island. So because uh, the timer is at a different time than I expected, he's going to be uh, essentially random with uh, what he does. Yeah, it's so hard to get those stars if you need three of them. Yeah, yeah. In this game, if you have three, like two or three stars and you get hit, um, it's bad. Alright, I'm cool with that, to be honest. It's not that it's a squirrel. He's, He's got boxing gloves, yeah. <laughs> If you watched the cutscene before that, I believe the squirrel is actually his coach. Alright, so this fight is, uh... If I miss this one trick, then... I'm pretty much going around to you. It is, uh... The way that this fight works is his pattern is... Like, slow enough to where... Like, if you don't get the KO correctly, then... It wastes a lot of time. So, let's see how it goes. All right, we're good. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you need to counter all three yeah. of those attacks. And fortunately, there's a buffer that will allow you to counter all yeah. three of them. The thing is, the buffers in this game are not as consistent as they should be. Sometimes if you uh, do too many dodges, Sometimes they'll be a little bit faster. It's unknown as to why that happens yet. Thank you, Tabonius, for the $25 donation. Love and punch out for the Wii. Keep up the good work. 
Thank you, Fractals, for the twenty dollar donation. Blindfold Yoshi sounds amazing. Everyone donate. Thank you, Kyle English, for the thirty dollar donation. Want to see them Yoshi Island blindfolded levels? Let's help beat cancer together. Hello? Uh, uh, huh. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen that. I wonder if I'm gonna counter that. Damn. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's pretty good because I wasn't sure if that, that was gonna work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Each punch uh, in that loop does a tiny bit more damage. I'm specifically saving my stars to skip this phase where you punch his two payoff and he gets really mad about that. He's not happy with it. So we're just gonna beat him before that happens, hopefully. Six, seven, That's the right amount. Yep. Yeah. All right, so we're heading into the the second world circuit. All of these fights are difficult in some way. Um, yeah. If anything goes off, then uh, some of these can get pretty chaotic, especially title defense soda. Um, just as like reference, like I can, I can easily dodge like Tyson's punches, but when it comes to like reacting to what Soda does, like I can't do it <laughs> consistently. So hopefully we beat him before problems arise. But hey, it's title defense Aaron Ryan. He's got a weapon. I couldn't hear the sound cue that I needed. <laughs> but yeah, there's another camera glitch. That one's pretty uh, interesting. Six, seven, come on, come on, fight. Try this one over, Sykes. But now you can actually see the weapon that he uses. Yeah, we're going around two, unfortunately. If you get hit by that, is it? I, I could have totally gotten through uh, round one, but I really wanted to show that off. If oh. I if I heard that sound cue, then it would have been no big deal. I probably should have said something. You gonna love this, Mike? No, you can't both get knocked down at the same time. That will have knocked him down. Nah, it's been tested. This is this is a pretty great uh, round end cutscene. <laughs> I 
I need to hit him with the face punch. Alright. That's one of the issues. Uh, if you hit him with a gut punch at the end, then you can't actually do that instant knockdown. So, that's, wh that's why I kind of hesitated in uh, some of the previous knockdowns. I could have easily like taken him down, but I need a star and I need to punch him in the face at the end. Thank you, Supreme Bananas, for the $20 donation. The blindfold punch-out sections were really fun last year. Let's get the Yoshi's Island part met. Thank you, Eck, for the $50 donation. Great games, and here's to seeing my favorite childhood game done blindfolded. There are about $15,192 out of the necessary $20,000 for blindfolded Yoshi, so get it in, people. Keep going. Perfect. I actually did want that hit. It manipulates a certain pattern out of them. Okay. So this is like a momentum based fight. Every successful dodge and uh, counter you do, it adds another punch to his stun. So if you stun him and then hit him the maximum amount before it ends, then uh, Star Punch, it's a knockdown. Oh. Okay. That's totally fine. <laughs> You didn't get to see like the true fury of that fight. Like he can go so fast if you give him the chance. And also, I was going for a two-frame star. It's uh, it's pretty risky, but I've been getting it a lot, so I had to give it a shot. Thank you, Spaghetti 7 for the fifty dollars donation. Put this towards Yoshi's Island blindfolded. That game is my favorite game of all time, and I want to see the blindfold challenge happen. Pass the trihex who makes Yoshi's Island exciting over and over again. So for some explanation, this is the hardest fight in the game, pretty much. He's like Ball Ball 2 from MTPO, but to get stars early, you need to do frame-perfect punches. Every star you see me get in Phase 1, pretty much, means I did a frame-perfect punch. So hopefully I can get some. That is like ridiculously <laughs> good. Yeah. Right. Not exactly surprising since you get them accidentally all the time. Six, yeah. Seven. Eight, Blindfold, no less. I don't, I don't know what's happening, but like, that shouldn't be happening. <laughs> not even supposed to happen. No, I guess Sellers gonna try to counter the bull turns. <laughs> Sub minute on this guy is absolutely insane. Was that an accidental sub minute? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't intending that, so yeah. 
Thank you very much, Shy Ranger, for the $20 donation. Donating because you countered Don from Mako even when the Wii itself tried to stop you. Thank you, Netter, for the $550 donation. Donation from France. One of my best friend's mother's died of cancer a few weeks ago. We've been playing video games together for the past five years, and it's been really hard for him. So, Mac's pretty popular now, but Macho's not having it. Keep the good work against cancer and for gaming, and kill the animals. Okay, um, I got a frame perfect move cancel on that too. One, two. I guess because why not? Release the no. Release the focus. Yes. Everything is good now. Really, really good fight. Yeah. The frame perfect move cancel saves about four seconds, so like that's way better than average. Yeah, uh, tile defense match is the only fight in the game that does not have a way to instantly knock down. Yeah, it's it's kind of odd because every other fight has some sort of uh, instant knockdown somewhere. No, 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 no. <laughs> it had to happen once. Thank you, Beanopolis, for the $50 donation. Having a great time listening to all these great games while at work. Many thanks to everyone involved with this amazing source of entertainment and goodwill. He's not too happy about Mac being champion either. Pretty good for getting uh, one of the stars at the start. Yeah, it's random which uh, direction you blink at the start. Yeah, I always assume left because it's like too fast to react to. We're good. I actually took those hits intentionally. I'm sorry to worry everyone, but <laughs> it is a bit faster to take those hits. That was a great fight. Alright, so that's the first two loops of the game. Alright, so now uh, we get to fight Donkey Kong. The donation incentive was met. This is a pretty uh, interesting fight. Um, it's pretty tough to get everything right in it. Um, if you make a very slight mistake, then he starts dancing all over the place. It wastes a lot of time, and I might go to round two, so let's see how it goes. Okay, nice. Don't get too rough. Got speed on speed down. <laughs> He's just happy to be here. Look at him. <laughs> As I said, I noticed your record is 313 and 1. Who's the one? Alright, 
That's really good to get that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're looking good. Time! Yeah. What's that? Nice. That's not too bad going around two on Aaron. So yeah, that was We Punch Out. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. That was Allard. Uh, 313 and 1. Was that one glass gel? Um, yeah. <laughs> That's because there's a challenge to actually lose to Glass Joe because uh -oh. it's actually difficult to lose to him. <laughs> nice. So to fill out the challenges, I did. Why not? It was actually pretty challenging. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm good. Um, next up is uh, Soden. Hope you're hyped for Soden. Yes, good, very good job, Zalad One. Thank you for all for your donations so far. Coming up next is going to be Soden, but first, a commercial.